What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to a, another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we um, explored and 100% completed Rusty Bucket Bay, and now it's time to go on to the final world of the game. Let's do it. And the final floor of Gentilda's Lair. I'm supposed to wonder being through these guys, but I prefer to just dodge. What I can dodge, that is. I've gotten through here once in my life just by rolling and doing this stuff, and I've actually never taken any damage. I was able to get through scot free one time. I've been told that it's back here, so. Of course, gotta listen to her. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio controlled bats. Okay, that's not bad. This poor guy called Dirty Birdie was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Gruntilda used to have a mad vulture as a pet. And she's gonna heal us up because we're low. Thanks, Gruntilda. Long of tooth and strong of eye, Grunty's got the lasting charm. Sure, Grunty. Finally, this pot connects all the way back down to the one that's in that room underneath the entrance to Clinker's Cavern. So we can now make it from the second floor of the castle all the way to the top floor, and that's super convenient. Climbing up here, up this tree. You see, we can open up that door, but we're not going to. Not quite yet. It'll be a while before we open that door. We are interested in what's over here. I said the final level was a place called... I'm my, I'm my condition. Click Clock Wood! We had to spawn the Jiggy platform in so we can actually go complete the puzzle all the way back down. Um, by Treasure, where Treasure Trove Cove is. And we're not going to go that way because that doesn't matter. So we're going to take the pot we just unlocked straight down there. I love this rendition of Grunty's thing too. So this world, Click Clock Wood, is going to be split into four episodes. Because it's a big world. And it has four sections in it. I will explain. You'll see what I mean when we actually get into the world. Because the, the world has a, its own hub. Like, the level has its own hub. So you'll see what I mean when we get in there. I also believe that, that Brentilda we just talked to was our final one. Wood. Remember in Gobi episode where I said that I think Gobi's Valley is my favorite uh, level? I I lied. Click Clock Wood is easily my favorite level in the game, without a doubt. Great music, um, great versions of its music within the level. It's big, but it all makes sense. It's widespread and huge, but it's also all connected. It's just a really good level. Alright, let's do this. If you think I'm going to finish this rhyme, you're wrong, because the loading screen will cut me off before long. Okay. See, I finished the rhyme for you. And now, that we've opened it up, obviously we can head up there. So here we go. Click clock... Click... Click clock wood. I said an L on that second word. Click... Clock wood. Um, as you can see, different seasons on the doors. This world essentially is the same map, a surrounding area that surrounds a giant tree, and these four different doors lead to four different seasons, which changes the map around. Within each door is a switch to open up the door to the next season. As you can see, the hub opens up. This season. So, all right, so let's go do it. All right. There's a lot to talk about in this world. It's an extremely big area. Um, each section has, I think, 
yeah, each section has like Jinjos in it. It's a big area, you'll see. You'll see as it kind of comes along. Down there we have Naughty, a beaver, who is a returning enemy from Donkey Kong Country 1. And his house is being blocked off by a boulder. Unfortunately, due to this season flooding the, um, the um, little um, dive down there, we cannot um, actually break the rock and help him out. These birds are called big cluckas, and they actually get bigger, which with uh, with every um, what am I saying? With every progressing season, there you go. I'll say that. I suppose passing season would have worked better. But whatever. Uh, we're not gonna go over there quite yet, actually. As you can see, there's a mumbo transformation in this world. Um, we're gonna want to lay eggs in that hole. There we go. Somehow that will fertilize the soil enough to have a plant grow. And we will watch that plant grow as the seasons go on. Basically this first uh, part of the clock wood here is just kind of setting everything up for the other seasons, you know? You're getting the plant planted, you're collecting some of the notes. fall there but I guess we can hear what Naughty has to say. Somebody move this boulder. Naughty can't get in his house. I don't know what to say after that because I just explained to you the problem. Now we can start actually scaling up the tree which is my favorite thing to do in this world. No point in climbing up that yet because those leaves are just buds at the moment. Alright. I want to make sure I don't get knocked off by any of these guys, so I'm going to kill them all. This is a beehive, but we don't have any way to enter it at the moment. So for now, we'll just continue scaling up the tree. Just about didn't make that. That would have been scary. And this is actually some pretty this there's some pretty tight jumps here. You gotta turn like the, at the precise moment, otherwise you basically you, you screw up and die. Pretty simple. Sorry, I, I really like the music here. Most banjo fans I talk to uh, say that this song is their favorite um, part of the soundtrack. And while I admit it's good, I gotta say it, there's a song we haven't heard yet that I think for me takes the cake for best song on the soundtrack. This is gonna be a really sucky jump to complete. Um, if I just, like, yeah, that, that's a good angle for it. Okay. Get on there, okay. There we go. The camera's kind of tight at that section. I was really hoping I wouldn't fall off. Hopefully I didn't. Whoa. All right, and there's a switch for our next season. And I'm not referring to the seasons by their name because the way I'm gonna segment this in my uh, computer so I know which videos to upload in order, I don't want to get it mixed up in the episode, so. That's why I'm not saying the name of the season, trust me, I know what they are. Nabnut likes acorns. I'll just eat a few more. And you'll see his um, exciting lore progress as the seasons go on. Well, actually, I don't know, we might have time to do two seasons this episode, but I doubt it. We'll see. This is one of my favorite missions in the whole game. So we have to set that up now. 
Ah, me, Irie, Mighty Eagle, needs sleep now. So yeah, we're gonna have to raise that bird as the uh, seasons go on, which is pretty cool. Whoa, got caught underneath that uh, log for a second. I like how half the instruments in the song are just animal noises, like bird squawks. Do we have gold feathers still? Oh yeah, that, that's right. Um, off screen, I went through Treasure Trove Cove and entered in that uh, golden feathers cheat code. Uh, not cheat code, but code that allows us to um, have 20 golden feathers as a maximum instead of uh, 10, which is a nice buff up. There's our first jiggy. There's a pretty cool uh, hidden extra life up here, which I, we don't need to grab, but I'll grab it just because I think it's cool to show off. Kind of a cool platforming uh, little secret. Where can we go now? I suppose we should probably head over to Mumbo's because that's the last thing we have to do in this season before we can leave it. For good, actually. Or we can fall off and almost die, okay. That is a more efficient way of getting down there, I guess. Stupid weed boot music cutting in. Uh, okay. Mumbo's hut is in every season, but this is the only season where he's actually in the hut. So you want to make sure you visit it um, your first time around. Don't believe there's anything of um, importance up here. No, I don't think so. Okay. But here's our final transformation. My favorite. Mumbo magic, much good. B is best yet. And now we are B Banjo. Now we can't attack, but we can do this. We now have the power of flight. Infinite. Uh, I was going to say infinity. Infinity, but that doesn't make sense. But what will make sense is we have the power of flight with an infinite number of uses. There's no limit to it. Except when you hit the sky box and you can't go any higher. And this may seem useless, because this is the only season you can actually get the power of the uh, transformation in, because like I just said, Mumbo is in, uh, in his hut in any other seasons. But it is actually useful, because you can get up to this secret area and grab the second jiggy of the spring area. And I don't feel like flying around right now. And you also can't take fall damage in this form, similar to uh, how you can't take fall damage in any... Um, Mumbo transformation forms, but I don't think there's ever been a chance in the game to show that off that you can't take fall damage. So there you go. And yes, just like um, flying and swimming, you can hold down the R button to uh, make your turn sharper in uh, B mode. Bees can also, like you just saw with the um, Jiggy, land on these um, bear traps. They're called bear straps, uh, just fine, so we get a free Mumbo token. That we don't need anymore. I don't know why there's Mumbo tokens in this level. Cause there's not enough to get you to the amount that you need, so I guess they're just kind of like little extra ones. <laughs> but we unlocked this season, and yeah, we'll do this season. Okay, we have time for two, which is good. Mumble magic. Oh, that's just him saying that our magic is getting weak. All right, cool. And this is the season where all the side quest stuff we set up in the first season starts to come together. I be hungry now. Need five caterpillars. I like that these um, enemies have different attire for each season. Over here is the yellow ginger. I will admit, very well hidden. Because you can't even hear them from the start of the level where you spawn at. Here's our first caterpillar. E, hungry animals like caterpillars. Oh, hungry animals... Um, yeah, hungry animals eat things like caterpillars, is what I said. But, because of the hotter climate, this water has drained, which means we can now help out Naughty. And, uh, caterpillars do carry over. So, if you don't have an- So, always collect as many caterpillars in this level as you can. Um, even if it exceeds the amount you need. So, now we can break this rock for him. Or boulder, I suppose. Alright. We can't exactly come inside yet, because we can't climb up there. 
So for now, we'll just leave him be. Down here, I believe. Am I correct? Yes, is our next seasonal switch. Okay. Alright, nice. So now we can explore more. So yeah, cool. I'm glad that we have enough time to do um, two seasons in this episode. Because that will cut down. Now it's, this world's only going to be split in two episodes and not four, which is very helpful for me. And I need my health back, actually, because we took a pretty nasty fall there. Seems like I got it all back anyway. Alright. Cool. Yeah, we can't go under them anymore. They're too big now. Got him. Whoa. He's about hit us. Oh, yes. <laughs> How could I possibly forget? I, I did mention that we were going to see more of Gobi, didn't I? Yes, I did. Well, this is what I was talking about. He's back. Poor guy. Oh no, it's you two again. Uh, Gobi thought he was safe here. Nope. Ugh. Will you stop doing that? It took me ages to find more water. And thanks to Animal Beast, we can grow this flower. We hit him again, or does he... That's right, we hit him so hard he fell asleep. We, so we knocked him out. Um, Banjo-Kazooie are heroes, yes, I think. Alright, so now that we've, once again, um... <laughs> once again, punched Gobi to the point where he's passed out in exhaustion. See, last time he just ran away from us, but we bumped it up this time. We're cooler now. Not only did we hit him again, but we hit him so hard he most likely blacked out and fell asleep standing up. Those bees gave up on us very quickly. This is probably my favorite season in uh, Clockwood. I just like the music rendition of the song. There is stuff in Mumbo's hut, despite the fact that he's not there, so it is worth checking out. My Brambo field makes you yelp. And loss of life, it sure does help. Uh, too hot for magic. Mumbo wants suntan. I like the detail that uh, it's too hot, so he turned all his torches off. That's a nice little um, attention to, uh, I guess, well, detail. I didn't want to say this word in the same sentence twice for sake of being redundant, but oh well. Okay, so I was kind of wrong. Mumbo isn't as hot in this season too, but he can't do anything. So I'm still technically right, but whatever. What's in there? Doesn't this have notes in it? No, it's a Mumbo token. Okay. And now that these buds have turned into leaves, we can actually platform up the side of this tree. To get our third jiggy. We're not going to use that spring shock pad because that's going to take us higher up the tree than, but there's collectibles down here, like notes that we need to grab, so can't go any higher than what is allowed. There we go, now we're at full health again. Okay. Same thing, this tree is still the same shape, but as you can see, there's a caterpillar on it this time, so it's worth going out here. Now we have six out of the ten required. Oh yes, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Actually, we missed a jiggy in uh in the first season. That's right. We have to go. We can come inside of the uh, beehive as bee banjo, but we can come inside of it as banjo and kazooie this season. Bzz, the honey bear. He's after Grunny's gold and honey piece. Sting him, Zubas. I like the music here. Uh, 
Oh, you got me. Oh. There we go. Zer! He's beaten us. Oh well. We were getting bored of guarding it anyway. Alright. That's our fourth Jiggy, even though it should be our fifth, because I forgot about one in the spring. Which we'll, we'll go back and get at the end of the episode. This isn't a long season either. Alright. We can uh, continue making our way up the tree. Almost didn't see that caterpillar, but I heard him. For some reason, he blended in really well with the lighting. Yeah, yeah, this jiggy's a pain in the neck to grab. Okay, go. Ooh, okay, good. good. It's hard to get back. It's not hard to grab it. It's hard to get back to the platform. Okay, that's Jiggy. Get on there. Oh, we made it. Okay, good. That is a really, really difficult jump if you're not, like, completely focused and know exactly where you want to go with it. Oh, we can't turn because of the, um... Yeah, the window. The model of the window in the cabin was in the way of the camera with my turn. But we got it, so. Let's go see what's going on with Nabnut here. Nabnut's eating too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to read those. Without sounding choppy out loud, because um, of the speed of the uh, dialogue text box thing, I don't know what to call it. You know what I mean. Golden feather over here, we will grab. Don't worry about that top window. We'll get into that in a different season. Good. I was able to get him before he got me. If he would have hit me there, I would have 100% gone flying off the side of this tree. This is also a tricky jump. Okay, this is where Irie is. It's feeding time. Yummy! Juicy caterpillar, nice. And yes, you do have to sit there and watch Banjo hand him all ten caterpillars. See, we have three extras, which is nice. That'll be helpful later on in the road. Ugh. Irie, full now. Needs more sleep. I like Irie's design, he's so stupid. He's this big dumb bird in a diaper. And uh, I'm pretty sure climbing up this is pointless now, because up until the final season, I don't think anything gets added to this section up here. Yeah, no, nothing's for sure in there. Um, because that room never gets changed. Where's our plant at? I can't remember. Okay, no, it's not fully grown yet. Good. Oh, wait, what am I doing over here? Let's just... Ooh, careful. Get in there, Benjo. Ooh, nice save. Alright, well, we've done the tall to be done in this season. So let's go back and uh, <laughs> grab that um, B Banjo Jiggy I forgot about in the first season. And that will wrap up the episode, I think. I can't believe I forgot about this one. You think, <laughs> um, because I always forget about it. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go back to that. So you see how obviously, because we're in this season, there's water. 
when I played this game for the first time when I was little, I was so confused. I didn't know that you had to go ahead and, like, the, you know, the way the year works, the seasons go forward, right? They don't go backwards. Obviously, I knew that as a kid, but I didn't think that's how it worked in the Banjo Kazooie world. So, I would say, oh, I broke the boulder at um, Naughty's house. So, why, why can't I just come back to this season and use the water to swim up there? And then I, because I didn't realize that, uh, you know, the other season has water and that's after that, so the rock would still be broken. And I came back here and kept trying to figure out, well, how come the rock's there? There's water here, which means I should be able to swim up because I broke it. But I was actually going back in time because I'm going into a season that I already had passed. Just about ran right past the number house. Yeah, I was stumped on this level for a while when I was little. And I just couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And then I realized, oh, wait, it's seasons. Maybe I need to stop being an idiot and actually go forward, which is how an actual year works in real time. And then I did that, and then I figured it out. But we're not here to talk about seasons, we're here to turn into a bee. Alright, time to head over to the beehive. As B Benjo, we can fit in there. And be amongst our fellow bees. Which is helpful because up here is the purple ginger. That leaves us with two seasons left and two gingers left. So yeah, I was right, there isn't more than one ginger in a season, which is nice. Okay. Let's exit out of this. This is kind of a tricky uh, hole to get into. There we go. Nice. Fly back to the entrance and head outside of it. Um, just for reasons that I, I just want to. I feel like it. Let's grab that Mumbo token. <laughs> um, Mumbo tokens. Things like Mumbo tokens, extra lives, eggs, feathers. The only thing that's part of 100% on this game is you have to get all the notes in each world and all the jiggies in each world and all the honeycombs in each world. All the Momo tokens don't matter. They're not part of a counter. They don't count. You can if you want to to kind of make up your own little 100% by getting all the Momo tokens. But due to a oversight glitch, you actually cannot grab them all. In Mad Monster Mansion, if you grab a Momo token, a second Momo token, then that level despawns, which means there was probably a coding error that resulted in um, them both being considered the same Momo token, but I digress. All right, next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we will be exploring the final two seasons of Click Clock Wood. And uh, yeah, we'll see what they have in store for us. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.